Today we're going to be playing Can You Survive as an Animal? And no, we're not running out of ideas, okay? This is just because there aren't enough movies coming out that I find interesting. It's just the two of us. This is fun, but also when it's just the two of us, we start bashing on each other and get nowhere. So I'm going to explain what we're going to do each today. Each other? Yes, each other. What? <laughs> I just think as the younger brother, I get to just assume that we both share the responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> so we both researched a couple animals and we're going to take turns quizzing each other about animals' strained survival skills. And whoever guesses more right wins. Who has the better animal instinct? Yeah. I'm not sure if the winner is actually winning. Yeah, it. I don't think... <laughs> I, I don't think you'll be able to guess. Like, the animals I've chosen are very strange. <laughs> Why? I, I pick cool animals. And you... we'll, we'll get into it. So the premise that we're working on is that our consciousness gets, just gets transferred to this specific type of species yeah. in their own natural habitat. Exactly. We're, not, we're not turning into wild animals in our apartment. Look, you're a whale in your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Figure it out. Survive now. <laughs> <laughs> I just searched up endangered raptors and I picked um, bald eagle. Okay. You open your eyes don't move look around it's blue sky and white clouds okay. you find yourself in a nest huh. placed on a mountain top with very few trees surrounded by cliffs oh my god is this america <laughs> am i <laughs> so how's your fear of heights working right now oh right i have i'm, I'm scared of heights <laughs> oh gee was that a lie <laughs> no but i think my fear of heights mm -hmm. is related to death oh if i'm in a safe space mm -hmm. and i see big heights i'm not really scared of that oh, okay yeah, yeah right now you should be very scared but i i have wings yeah but raptors are quite heavy they don't they can't really just hover by flapping. So you required like a strong wind current and you ride that rather than just creating your own wind current by flapping your wings. I see. You're in a cliff. You can't really go anywhere. You can't really walk down either. Okay. The problem is your mind is that of a human and you don't have any knowledge how to fly. Let me let me get this straight. You, knowing my fears, chose... <laughs> The worst, and I chose. Mines are fun, okay? You just picked what I I'll would hate. I'll be the hate. judge of that. We'll, we'll see. I'll <laughs> be the judge of that. Before we actually take flight, we need to first do a flight practice, right? Okay. So there's different approach to flight practice, and you have to pick the right one as an eagle. I get a feeling the one where it's most likely a suicide is going to be the right choice. You ruined it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> Number one, jump off the cliff. Number two, don't jump, but mm -hmm. just simply spread your wings and let the wind current flow and gradually make you hover. Number three, don't fly. Try just jumping between tree branches first. Hey, how old am I as a bird? It, it doesn't matter. You, you, you don't have the bird knowledge or instinct or memory. Okay, well, I can obviously do all three. Okay, the right choice here, the first choice, uh -huh. should be the one where I stand and don't jump off a cliff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and just spread my wings and hopefully the wind takes me away. The hovering thing. Yeah, like that's... And if that doesn't work, then I can still do other things because I'm not dead. Eh. Surprisingly, right? Like I, I was actually kind of surprised when I researched this. But, but I, now I can choose the next thing because I'm still alive. See, no, you're on a mountain top surrounded by cliffs, right? Uh -huh. If you hover, you get elevated, you get, you flow away, but you don't know how to land. So you just fall off and you eventually tie yourself out and die. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to make a good video where I just died in the first question. <laughs> I think people enjoy seeing you die because it's usually you killing us. Okay. Correct answer uh -huh. is to start practicing by jumping between the tree branches. The reason being, the first thing that you need to learn before flying is how to land. So the eagles always train first by jumping between branches instead of flying. Wow, this is kind of cool. Huh. Not moderating is kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> With my human knowledge, I would become the smartest eagle to ever exist. Every time there's a present presidential election, I would soar through the sky and show them that I symbolize the country and then somebody or some group organization will adopt me and then I'll just be fed for the rest of my life. Chances are since the birds can't really control their um, injection, they're just going to poop on the president. Oh, they can't? Wait, birds can't control where they poop? Because they have a really tiny bladder. Okay, well I'm just going to have to plan out my bladder then. <laughs> like, I'm just going to have to poo before I start flying across the presidency. Maybe they do. Maybe my, like, uh, I'm not, I'm, I don't have a professional knowledge in birds. Yeah, I know. Like, but, like I've done minimum research to yeah, do this. But from some book that I read a long time ago, I heard yeah. that like the birds have a difficult time controlling their bowel movements. So when birds poop on you, it's not like on purpose. It's not intentional. Huh. It, you're just extremely unlucky. Have you ever been pooped by a bird? No, I think you have. Yes. Yeah. I got pooped by an owl. I don't know how it missed my head and, and got to my neck. neck. Yeah. I'm guessing, how the fudge? I'm guessing it was, that was a long time ago. It's a bloody owl. Yeah. You can't even find those things. And it was during the day too, so I don't know what this <laughs> owl was doing. <laughs> And it wasn't like there was a lot of people. No. No, this park was empty and you were just walking. 
<laughs> and out of all the empty park spaces, it just uh, it decided- It my neck. All right. Uh, oh, it's, it's my turn? Yeah. Okay. All right, Elias. Imagine this. You're underwater. Okay. Okay. And you and a thousand other of your brothers and sister are born. You are a seahorse. Oh, God, no. What is no. the first thing that you do? Number one, eat. Number two, run. Number three, hide. Go. Seahorses are really slow. Like, they're extremely slow. I'm not sure if I can do any of those. What do seahorses eat? I think they eat plankton. So I guess I, I'm eating already. You're going to eat? I'm assuming that I'm. that's the only thing I can do right now. Okay, that is correct. You want to eat. Seahorses have to eat a lot. Okay? They do? Yes. They don't even move that much. Why do they need all the energy? Because apparently, seahorses don't have stomachs. It just directly goes into their digestive system. So it just kind so of you fades just have to through them. Yeah, so you have to keep eating. Apparently, seahorses have to have 3,000 bites of food a day to survive. Out of 1,000 oh. of your brothers and sisters, on average, how many survive? Number one, 200. Number two, 20. Number three, two. Two. Yes! <laughs> Most of them die. Yeah, I assume. <laughs> That's a terrible design, I assume. It's, I just Googled animals that have it rough. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you Google? And, and you accuse me of like a bullying you with the bald eagle? Okay, but that was like a direct attack at my fear. I'm not going to give you a question where like I give you an animal and that animal turns out to have like be able to talk to girls. Okay, your consciousness is suddenly in a different place again. Ooh. Mm, you see vast fields and woods. Oh. The mountain in the distance, it seems high. It's tip to the mid waist is covered in snow. It's chilly, but it's not that cold. The Wait, water- and When the you're describing this, do you just imagine the anime is going to animate all of this? Yeah. <laughs> okay, if it's too difficult, just get a picture or something. <laughs> just put the picture on the background and just put the characters in the front. <laughs> so from the reflection of the water, you see not your face and flesh. I see reflection through the water. Yeah, yeah I, I expected this. I expected <laughs> him to give me a Disney princess the response. Blue moon. Where he starts singing, looking and at bloody water. City side, not in my... I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are like tons of songs where girls sing as they yeah. look in the water. Oh yeah, every Disney princess <laughs> looks at the water. I mean, but instead of like flashing your face, you see fur and stripe. You are a tiger, a moor tiger. What type of tiger is that? That's the type of tiger. That's the <laughs> official name of this type of tiger more. Freaking worst conversation he's daniel who's daniel daniel <laughs> <laughs> that's the most unproductive question and answer you're currently the largest cat predator on the planet so i'm a beast yeah let's so go there are almost no natural like uh, predators against you except the scarcity of food or humans however it's still best to avoid the possible threats right okay so excluding the obvious choice that is humans which of the following threats do you avoid at all cost brown or black bear wolves lynx or a smaller tiger bear just sounds like an obvious answer but i'm guessing you put it there because it sounded obvious i'm gonna go with smaller tigers correct yes let's go my god is it i, n I never knew it would be this fun to just hear other people say i'm, I'm correct <laughs> how do you guys not get more excited when i say it's correct surprisingly bears get hunted by tigers too so they're not grizzly they're not that big and oh. they're not that strong the pattern is when the tiger is shows up other predators decrease in number oh because it kills the other predators or, as well. or they run away right that's it so i'm i was actually picking an animal <laughs> as we were doing this <laughs> so huh? you picked an owl you picked owl. You are a barn owl. I'm guessing there's a specific type of owl, but it doesn't really matter because to me, owls are just poop snipers. <laughs> to me, they're just pieces of shits, literally. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say you get a mating partner. <laughs> okay. Okay. And she dies. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Do you A, look for a new mate, or B, stay single forever, or C, die? Wait, just me, right? I'll probably stay single and just live a solo <laughs> but, life. But the the animal's instinct is, is on you. Oh, instinct is strong on this, on your scenario. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. The my scenarios, you're just you're just a human mind in an animal body. I mean, for this question, you need to have your instinct. It just doesn't work if it's not. Okay. Judging from like how you always throw me ridiculous questions and like throw me shades about my solo life, uh -huh. I'm gonna pick I die. <laughs> That's correct. Oh come on! <laughs> You just purposely just searched up birds that die no. when their mates die? It's the same website that I picked a freaking seahorse on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was the cutest thing ever because apparently, unlike other animals who like want to mate with as many partners as possible, oh, yeah? owls actually mourn their loss. Like they'll get stressed, like they'll stop eating oh. and sometimes they'll die. So I quote this, it'll turn and face a tree and literally wait to die. Oh. Yeah. It's 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 melodramatic. It, it's really like sad, but it's also you know it's so cute that's just him throwing me shades no 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 <laughs> yeah barn owl relationship <laughs> <laughs> do 
you have another animal? No. You have one one question for this animal. Yeah, that was it. I just wanted to talk about that. I thought this. How was... is this not a shade? Yeah, I thought this was gonna be a shorter recording. All the other animals are kind of boring. They're like, ooh, you have if you have sex, you die. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a different topic that we haven't really done before. Let us know if there's like good movies that we haven't covered yet that we could cover. Actually, tell him to read more books. Oh, that's it. I hope you guys don't turn into animals. Are you sure you want to end it that way? I don't. I don't. Know. Are you sure that's the ending you want to give them? I. I don't. How do you end YouTube videos? I don't know. You be, you're a YouTuber. It's even stereotypical to end a YouTube video saying, how do you end YouTube videos? I suppose. Tell us about what kind of animal you would rather be than a human being. A dog. A dog in a wealthy family. A wealthy Asian family. Yeah, they will <laughs> spoil you like no other.